Today I'm going to take a look at something that I've needed for a long time, and that is a capture card. An Elgato capture card. Welcome to Tech City, this is Brian, I hope you are all doing mighty fine, and when I met up with the awesome people at Elgato and PAX at Seattle, I was very interested in what their capture cards could do, and having had my head buried in used parts and doing many tutorials for you guys for a while, with people complaining about how the screen looked bad on camera numerous of times, I decided to test out an Elgato capture card and see what magic it could pull. And seeing it firsthand really surprised me. Here was something that could not only solve the problems of capturing BIOS footage in high quality, but also something that came loaded with features for anyone really with a monitor or TV. It can also do so much more than just capture gameplay footage too. First up, you can record 1080p 60fps footage from your consoles if you have a PS4 or an Xbox One, or from another PC or your own PC if you have a second monitor that you're playing games on. I found when I tried this on my brother's PlayStation 4, there was zero drop on performance and everything was still smooth as butter. And then when going into the computer's BIOS, which is the boot configuration settings that are important for setting up a computer and tuning it as best as you can, I found I could capture the picture without having to use my camera, which usually resulted in a bad picture. The Elgato every time was just putting out crisp quality footage. And this footage is adjustable in both bitrate and FPS too. You can change it from one megabit per second all the way up to 60 megabits per second, 30 or 60 FPS. You can also capture audio incoming too, even from that of a microphone. Also, when using the PC, instead of having to use apps like Shadowplay, I can now benchmark my games without having to double take footage, and I can also play games recording quality plays without having any hiccups or performance dips. Another great feature of both the HD capture cards that I have here is that they have the software suite which comes included with both products and offers things like different layouts, custom bannerings, and even setting up Twitch donation settings and labeling so you can get straight into streaming hassle free. And the look is very professional too. It is things like these that are going to save gamers and streamers a lot of hassle and time. And lastly, someone like me, a lot of complaints from viewers. So now I have two models here that I'll quickly go over the differences between both. The HD60 Pro PCIe mounted card fits into your computer internally and plugs into a PCIe port. This will then enable 1080p 60fps capture, which can then be saved to the said computer that the capture card is slotted into. Then there is the HD60S, which is a USB 3 version and captures in much the same way, except you will need an additional USB 3 cable, and also this device will only work with a 4-core 4th gen CPU or greater, and will still require a native USB 3 port. Though if you have these, then I think the HD60F offers a little bit more flexibility and I found myself using it more so than the HD60 Pro, as I can plug it into any device quickly and maneuver around and then easily set up capture. On the other hand, the HD60 Pro I found gave a much cleaner look to the setup since you didn't have another cable that you needed to run and it also sits inside the PC. Plus it does avoid that additional layer of connectivity. For instance, if you have a USB port die on you or something, you could come into some additional problems that you wouldn't have on the Pro version. So there it is, the HD60 Pro and the HD60S from Elgato, two units which are extremely useful for anyone even remotely serious about capturing quality gameplay footage, doing tutorials and or streaming to viewers with no hiccups. The software is incredibly easy to use and the final output files are efficient too and won't take up much space on your hard drive, especially for how the final picture looks. Overall a great product and coming in at around about 173 US for the USB 3 HD60S and 170 USD for the HD60 Pro PCIe version. Also, if you're in Australia, then it'll set you back around about 269 and 280 AUD respectively. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Elgato capture cards, and if you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below, do you record gameplay footage? And if so, what system or setup do you currently use? Would love to hear your comments and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.